Hello creative designers, my name is Peter and on today's tutorial I just wanted to focus on something that will help you boost and maximize your profit and even the experience in your business. It will also help you to make either a short term, long term or even knowing the future of your business. It is called reviews or feedback from the customer. Let's take for example, I just wanted to buy a microphone. I don't know which microphone to purchase. The next thing I'm going to do, if I, if I do this certain specification and I get it, the next thing I'm going to check is the customer's reviews. You can see customer feedback will always give you the green light about or even more information about the product. Customer feedback will always help you do much in your business even in a decision making and even taking calls or even evaluating uh, taking the statistic about the product that is moving even the feedback from the customer even it will help you to adjust those loopholes in your business either in your customer service or whichever way it will help you feedback from the people you are always uh, you are offering service to will help you a lot in making decisions, even in giving you a morale to perform your business. On today's tutorial, I just want us to add the views in our e-commerce website. What we need to do is we, we go to WooCommerce and we select setting. In setting section, go to product. Make sure you select this on review section, enable product review, show verify honorable take this one and also remember to activate this enable star enable star rating on reviews the star rating will look like this this is the star rating the other thing is star rating should be should be required not optional customer must select the star for the review to be accepted so and save the changes with that we have just added this type of view review in the product but most of the feedback that customer give is after the experience of using the product so the next thing we need to do we need to give them a reminder we need to follow up by email so what we need to do is we go to plugin and we are new. We type here customer reviews. We have the this plugin called customer review for WooCommerce. It's from customer reviews. It has more than 20,000 active installation. Last updated four days ago before this tutorial happened. You can see they have more than 613 reviews and they are having a five star we activate this we install this plugin after successful installation we activate the plugin so after we activate the plugin we can see now we have this review button here select review and select setting the first thing you need to set from folder the next thing you're going to the first thing you need to, to set is you enable automatic reminder activate this one click this one setting delay days after you have a successful delivery to the customer how many days will it last before a, a reminder is sent to the customer set the maximum day you want we may even put five one week one month depending on how you want the customer to have the experience with the product the order status for the reminder to be sent, let it be completed. Enable for, you can enable for all category or for specific category. If you select specific category, come here and select which category you want to have the reminder sent for. Enable for roles. You can select this, the role you want the reminder to be. Uh, you can eliminate some roles like you can for administrator, an editor and other even 
maybe the shop manager you can select the reviews you can disable the review for some roles enable review or guest is always is advisable you can even hear why it, customer can even share her experience or his or her experience on why he, he or she don't have the even the account with with you you can even know how to even maybe next time or to upgrade the, either of the service that making the customer not have account with you another thing is in my shady you can use wordpress cron enable manual reminder so it's good you can even send about the order enable this for manual send off the reminder you is a, the other thing is limit the number of reminders yeah we want one reminder to be sent to the customer you don't want to be that and listen to email after email about the review reminder for to review the product let the customer do it willingly customer consent if you click this one on the checkout page customer before com he or complete the order he'll have to tick this here this checkbox here for the cast for the review to be sent to the customer we don't want that we want the we want us to send and have the customer do it as an option to to review to share or his or her reviews the other thing is the default uh, registered customer by default the, this mean by uh, this mean that by default the review the review reminder is sent to the customer uh, to the bidding email for the customer we want it to be like that we don't want to send email uh, we don't want to send reminders to uh, all the email associated with the customer moderation of the car of the reviews this mean that when the reviews is sent uh, to the customer and the customer submit the review you have to verify it yourself we don't want that let it throw you can ex exclude reviews for free product you can check or you can check it give the shop name here your shop name and the other thing is your email where you want to email to uh, the reply email to uh, your reply email uh, for the reviews the other thing is email for notification the email that you show this from this uh, the email that will deliver the reviews you can change this one the other thing is you select the language i want the english the other one is the email template now the first thing here you have the site site name and the review uh review your experience with us that's the heading how do we how do we did we do is seem a good template but if you want to add something you can choose this short code and you format everything in your email template set the foot uh, the set the color for the email you can set whichever the color you seem good for you after that the email color too you set the email this one will be this one is for the review button so from there is the review form template yeah the thing is the review form template the header here how did we do the body here i see it good like that the other thing you need to activate is shop rating activate this one comment is required for every rating is required customer can attach a media yeah you enable that one and with that we just set everything so everything is a form for this is the form color you can set everything let's have a test i send the test yeah it has been sent successfully let me check on it here we have the email it says how did we do you can see the customer name and you can see the order number here 
it only take few minutes and cast on click on review customer will be directed to a review page this is how it look like this is the review form this one the review form from there you see how the rate of delivery the test and everything customer can comment and offer a picture yeah this the test number two the product number two will have its own form and customer can read it and write a comment about it and he can upload either a picture or a video uh, uh, or a video the next customer can even choose a name either just anonymous or as the name uh, the username or whichever the customer name want and the next thing customer need to is to hit the submit you see all these are required yeah so the next thing you're going to do is you come here and select review extension in the review extension we allow attachment of image quantity of the image we select one one image per product for review this one yeah we don't want to offer like five images about a product you want one image the next thing is maximum size of image you want maybe uh, let's say three megapixel the other thing you can disable this light box i don't want to if you have this capture key enter them they will help you the other thing is we enable this short code in gutenberg the other thing is summary bar we activate vote for reviews customer can vote for other uh, other reviews from other customers we activate this one remove customer branding uh remove plugin branding this one customer here we want to remove this one click here and save the changes from there we go to review for discount customer can review and get some discount yeah so enable review for discount if you want to offer discount for customer to review the product you click this one coupon on use you can have your own existing coupon and you share code but we want the coupon be generated you can enter the email to be cc like after the email can be after the, the email can be sent to the sales uh, sales team and you can enter the sales team and uh, like that they can have the copy of the email the generation of individual coupon now here we come to set the, this coupon type you want it to be either in percentage a discount a fixed cut discount or a, a, pro, a product discount you can offer a specific product for discount yeah the amount you can set here will be a hundred or even you can allow a free shipping for the next delivery yeah you can allow this and remove this is upon to you the validity of the coupon it will how many days do you want the coupon to be arrived before it is deleted you can enter one day or two days maximum the maximum to spend uh, the minimum to spend you can uh, allow a minimum and uh, the coupon to be used in minimum or the maximum the other thing is you, if you want the coupon to be used individually no payment no other thing no any other coupon can be used you can check on this but we want the customer to, to use if he has another coupon and use this coupon to add up you can on exclude the coupon on those product on sale or those product on offer you can select if you select product on discount you can add the product from here yeah uh, if you search if you search the product here you search the product and you add this product you that the coupon can only uh, can only buy if you want to exclude some product you can type the product here if you want this coupon if you want to this coupon to be used on only on certain category just come here and add those category you want 
the coupon to be used yeah you can select all you can select none if you want to exclude some category from using this coupon here you just type the type uh, the category here the usage limit if you want the cut uh, the coupon to be used only once here you have to, to to type the maximum number you want the coupon to be used the other one is the email template set everything here and you can use even this short code here to personalize your email yeah you can say hi customer you can say not even customer first name you can say customer name you copy this and you come here and paste it or you can personalize your email after that you can set the email color and you say let's have a test of it for that let's see how it look like i'll send a test email you can see it has been successfully sent let's we have a look on it you can see here you have the uh, the email it says thank you for leaving a review hi the first uh, the customer name thank you for leaving your order as a token you can see we have offered a 10 discount uh, a, a, a coupon with 10 discount 10 percent discount this is the code the customer will use that how we do with the email template will look like the next thing that we need to set is the trusted badges let's check the license key if you have purchased a, uh, if you have purchased the plugin you just enter your your keys here and even upload your logo yeah you can see you cannot be able until you purchase the license key the other thing is the trusted badges you come here and you enable them yeah you enable it and you save it this uh, this one will be used in your website so with that if you copy this code this will just even if you go to this uh use this link here but this one you add up to this this page which will show you all the reviews has been, which has been left for your company even for the pro product reviews you can be able to find them here the other thing is the referral program those uh those customer who, who has been uh, referred from this com uh this website you can even have uh, the tracker on them you can enable the track uh, this tracking customer referral and change with that we have set all the setting for the review plugin what we need to do is you go to my shop and we check on the shop and now we check one one product and see how how the reviews look like yeah here, here you have the review section on on click you can see customer can even upload a one image yeah and comment on it let's check like this one you say good for spot and we submit one review you see you can see ah uh, you can see from now uh, after after we submitted the review you can see one review for sports shoe you can see we gave a hundred percent for that after that was this review helpful to you customer can vote for it yeah or if it was not helpful you can choose now yeah you can see even customer can upload a product for late that was the lesson for today on how to add the review in your e-commerce website do you know customer tend to use reviews to purchase for nowadays it's always good to consider adding reviews and having the feedback from the customer it will help you 
a lot and a lot. I wish you all the best and good luck in what you're doing.